Welcome back to, oh wait. Hey lovies, what the rudge is up fam? Welcome back to the channel, there it is. Um, today is a day. Josh is 1,000,000% playing it right now. There's ridiculous, no he's not just ridiculous. Like a to be a he probably played it during this whole work day. Oh my God, okay, yeah. So, so don't say his last name because we don't want anyone to know <laughs> that his company that he didn't work all day today. <laughs> so yeah. Mike is finally getting the PS5. It's been long awaited. It is his birthday present. And so. Well, slash Christmas present. It was a, it's been a really expensive gift. It is an expensive gift. So it is birthday slash Christmas, but I still am getting him other things for his birthday and for Christmas. But um, he has been so excited about it. He's been talking about it for forever. I'm literally tired of hearing it. Um, I don't even want to leave the house, but it's been so hyped up that I want to see his face when it gets in his hands. I was wondering why you decided, like, I asked Terry at um, like oh, like 10.30 or whenever it is that Jeff, Josh said, oh, I have them both. And I was like, I'm going to go right after work. Do you want to join? And Terry was like, no, no. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to work or I'm going to do know, literally like, anything, do anything else. else in the world. And then at 3.51, Terry yells at me, are you, up here? are you still on your call? I was like, yeah. And she goes, I want to join for the PlayStation Adventure. And I was like, all right. And now I finally get to hear why she wants to join if she wants to just see my face and basically make fun of me as it happens. Dude, he is such a loser right now. Like, I've never seen any. And he's always hype about all the things he gets, like the iPad, the AirPods, the new phone. But, like, this is, like, the most losery he's been about all of his little technology. Today, during lunch, he came downstairs and took apart his old PS4, laid it all out. He's like, I'm done with this trash now. Oh yeah, I, I took a picture of me flipping it off and sent it to all my friends and everyone laughed. Which gets you, I just want everyone to know how funny I am, you know? All right guys, let's go get this PS5. It's the final countdown. Good to be home. Oh my god. Oh. He tossed all the PS4 stuff out. He's like not even about it anymore. Like a minute. M Mike, what what happened, honey? <laughs> I threw up my back. You threw out your, your back? Open him the PS5? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I'm too old for a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike can't move. So I, I now I have to set up the PS5. That's not happening. I'd rather just wait a day. Really? <laughs> what do you mean? I can do it. There's no way. What? There's no way. Look at him. This is amazing for you, isn't it? You happy now? <laughs> I did it, you guys. This is my PS5 now. <laughs> 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 Okay, guys, the onslaught of laughter has given him the strength to sit up. <laughs> it's honestly so rude. <laughs> he is sitting up and playing Spider Man. Time to save the city. Gotta save the city. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Home Depot. Let's go to Home Depot. <laughs> I like still don't know what it is. Yeah. It must be something that someone sent me. Okay. All right. I think we're gonna go in the whites. Uh, yep. Obvi. And we're gonna stay away from like this, which is basically kind of like what we have now, um, which is like an antique white. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I know for sure the color is called antique white because I remember Carl like bragging about it. He's just like, it's the antique white that way. Whenever I have to paint again, it's always antique white. <laughs> there it is. This is the color of our, our bedroom currently, antique white. Perfect. Let's hold that and remember to never use it. <laughs> um, I'm going to compare it against other whites because I want it to be lighter and yes, yeah, exactly. A lot less yellow than the color we currently have. So that has like a bluish tint yeah, to blue it. Yeah, blue tint to it. This is a warmer tone to it. Well, we get rid of gallery. Which one's gallery? The blue. Um. Yeah, I think so. Like, how white is that? Like, I feel like this is a nice neutral. This must be really. This looks very white. So, like, this is going to be a good one to judge other shades by. All right. So we got two sample colors um, that we are going to. Uh, I don't know, like five dollars or something yeah. like that. Like not a lot. Okay. And then I think we're gonna go look at some plants. Um, because I'm gonna say this because I don't think Lisa actually watches my vlogs. Oh, I don't know. Lisa, my sister, got me a fiddle leaf fig tree when I became Catholic, and um, I've killed it four times. And I say four I've, times. I've bought at least one or two of them. I say four times because I keep replacing them and telling her it's the same one. Um, and so recently she hasn't seen any in my pictures or anything, so she keeps asking about it. But the last one I had, Matilda the Third, died like, I don't know, like a year ago. So <laughs> I gotta find a new one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. this point so I killed the one that looks yeah, kind of like oh like... <laughs> you're funny okay let's 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 figure out plants okay so I'm thinking about getting a yucca it seems like it might be sturdy and a lot of the plants that die die because they can't be in direct sunlight and my apartment has a lot of windows so I think I'm gonna get this one because it can be in direct bright light and that's like the main thing so I'm gonna have Mike get one of these and then I have another basket with a plant that died um, that I killed I keep saying died like they're just dying I'm killing them I don't know why um, but I'm really good at these plants right here I think they're pothos pothos and this one will grow upwards and I think that would look really nice because I would help that thrive. So I'm gonna get one of those as well. And I think that's it for now. So so yeah. Okay. Should I get a different yucca? I feel like there are other ones with things coming off other ones coming off the side or sing We are now at Mike's favorite place. Huh. Getting some stuff for espresso martinis and I got my um, elderflower lemonade that I am obsessed with. I don't even know what Mike just went. Hey guys, so we are home. We had dinner and I'm trying to clean up the apartment a little bit because I have a lot to do or a lot that I want to do tonight and tomorrow and basically all weekend. Um, there's a lot I need to catch you guys up on but yeah. There's gonna be a lot of cleaning up tonight. Um, this is what it's looking like right now. It's a mess. We have a ton of packages. I ordered a bunch of stuff for Mike's birthday. He's playing his new PS5. So there's a lot we're gonna do for his birthday. So there are a lot of packages here that I need to wrap. And then stuff for the holidays. I got wreaths and stuff, things that are gonna go up. Things that need to get tossed, like his old PS5. We just got those plants that you saw. and. Hey guys, so it is the next morning. Um, like I said, we have a lot to do, or I have a lot to do this weekend. So the first thing that's up, well first of all, I was able to clean up a little bit last night like I was saying, and I hung a few of the wreaths. I don't know if I even said that out loud, but there was a package. Oh, where's my engagement ring? I think it's upstairs. Um, I thought it'd be really cute to hang some wreaths 
in the window as part of our Christmas decor. I wanted the wreaths to have little lights on them, but they were expensive. It was like $40 for a single wreath with lights, so I didn't get those. So I got six wreaths to hang in the window, which I think they, they look so cute. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I hung three last night, um, and then I stopped because I got drunk and I didn't wanna fall. So that's them, as you can see in these three windows, and then I'm going to, um, here are a couple more, and then the one that was gonna hang last night, that one's gonna go over there. Um, so the next three, windows have curtains with curtain rods on them so those are going to be hanging from curtain rods instead of the hooks that I have here um, and then we're going to hang them from these two windows as well but what we are doing right now is we are um, getting ready to shoot some pictures for a company that I'm working with so I partnered with this uh, hard seltzer company called Basque and they sent us these two cute wooden boxes um, so let me show it to you. So this is the box that I got. So I'm just going to shoot, and then this is the second box. It's really cute. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot, um, some pictures with these products. Now I have to go outside and pretend it's not cold. Strip my jacket off in public. Be out there in a short-sleeved crop top promoting a hard summer seltzer. Hey. Cobb salad that I couldn't finish uh, last night <laughs> um, and wash it down with this elderflower lemonade that you guys are probably tired of hearing about but I'm literally so obsessed with it <laughs> like honestly it's my favorite thing and then um, I'm gonna kind of eat that while I edit the pictures that Mike is gonna send me in a sec and yeah that's that Okay, so I ate and I am. Um, that salad hit different. It was so good. Um, it is the ultimate Cobb salad. It has everything in it. It's probably not, it's like not probably not healthy. It's definitely not the healthiest salad in the world, but that's like the only way I can eat salad when it's like covered in blue cheese and like four other cheeses and bacon and like good chicken. Holy moly. Holy moly. My finger just like broke through the styrofoam and the freaking thing. I'm gonna spill that salad everywhere. So, that's done. Done editing that stuff. Sent it out to the company for them to review and then once I get their approval, um, I can post it on my Instagram. And I took another couple of photos as well. Um, just to try to have some content for my Instagram. I don't really have time to do like to batch a ton of content all the time. I might even change one more time and do another picture. Um, just so I have some, some stuff. I just realized I haven't even said this in this vlog because I haven't vlogged since everything's happened really, but happy new president of the United States, dude. Like, I am so happy that Trump is no longer president. I mean, he's currently president for the time being, but he's a lame duck president and we'd love to see it. Um, so, super happy everyone got out, got out and voted and that we voted in the right way. And um, yeah, I have been really happy about that for a while now. I was so nervous because it took so long for us to get the results, but yeah, dude, so, so, so happy about how everything, you know, played out. Couldn't have, couldn't have happened to a worse person. Um, so yeah, really happy about that.